Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today, we are going to build an expandable layout using section, disclosure view and outline view inside Swift UI. So our final app will look something like this. It has recursive list view which shows list inside a list and another having a disclosure view. First, create an iOS app. Then, name the app. Then, create the project. First, create a Swift file called as directory. Create a structure called as directory which confirms to identifiable. Inside it, create a variable id equal to uuid. Another variable called name which confirms to string. Then icon also confirms to string. Then create a children which confirms to array of directory and its value are optional. Create an initializer inside it, add name as string, icon as string and children as array of directory. Then we assign these input to our variable. Then create another structure called as directory data. Inside it, add a variable item which equals to array of directory and create same type of data item and fill the respective field as shown. Then inside a content view file, create a navigation view. Inside it, create a list and add some modifiers as list style to inside group list style and add navigation title. Then create A for each enclosure.
Inside it, create a disclosure view inside the title of it, add icon and title as we have writer. Then create an outline group inside it. Fill the outline group with item of children of then inside the children we give our children inside the directory and inside the outline group add an array of directory which initializes as empty array. First comment our outline group and wrap it inside the section. The outline group have potential to recognize each recursive pattern and show result accordingly. Then inside it, we add navigation link, add the destination to child name and inside the closure. Add image and text. Now run our app and see. So now it looks like that it's working. Then perform some checks. First, Create a if block and check that if child has nil children, then we show navigation link. Else, we show label. Now, look for the second section of video. Create another section. Inside it add disclosure group. Then inside it add another section. Inside the section add text field. Create a state called as text field.
Similarly, we create another text field. Then create another section called Preferences. Now inside it, create some toggle button. In it, at value, we add a constant value. So here we can see that our final lap has been created. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.